Hi, and welcome to today's lesson, Translating Expressions and Equations. We'll first start out by identifying some words that mean add, subtract, multiply, and divide. A word like plus means addition, minus is subtraction, the answer to an addition problem is a sum, the answer to a subtraction problem is a difference, more means to add, less means to subtract, decreased by means subtract, Increased by means add. Less than is a subtraction. From is subtraction. Quotient is the answer to a division problem. Product is the answer to a multiplication problem. Double means multiply by two. Half means divide by two. Twice also means multiply by two. By is a multiplication word. Times is a multiplication word, and triple means to multiply by three. What we're going to do is look a little more closely at the subtraction words, and I notice that they have the words less and less than. They look very similar, but they both do mean subtraction, however, they mean them in a different way. So whenever I see the word from or than, I'm going to actually reverse the order of the words in the phrase. So if my variable came first, it'll be after the subtraction sign when I see the word than. If my um, number comes first, it'll be after. So I'm just going to reverse the order. Let's look at this for some examples. Here I have a number less 2. Okay, so less is here for subtract. So a number we're going to use a variable for whenever it says a number. The most common variable for expressions is n, but you could use x or any letter really. So here I'm just going to use n. So n less 2. So n minus 2. That one's pretty straightforward. But this one, when I have less than, I have a number less than 4. So n, and I know I'm subtracting, and I have the number 4, but the than from less than is actually going to reverse that order. So instead of n minus 4, it's really 4 minus n. And this is one of the most common mistakes for expressions. So make sure whenever you see the word than or from, you reverse the order. Let's look at a few examples that have more than one operation. Here we have a number tripled increased by 5. We have the word tripled which I see over here under the multiply. Tripled means to multiply by three. Because it says a number, that means our variable, so we have n multiplied by three. Whenever you're multiplying a number and a variable, you always wanna write the number first. So I'm gonna write three n. And three is my coefficient. Whenever I have a coefficient, I know that means multiply by the variable. Next, I'm gonna be increasing it by five. So increased by is here in the addition column. So I'm just going to write plus 5. Let's try another one. This time I have the product of a number and 7 plus 8. So I see the word product, which is the answer for a multiplication problem. Because I have the word and here, this tells me that I'm doing multiplication, so multiplication of a variable and 7. Once again, we have a number and a variable, so I'm going to put the 7 in front of that variable. So 7n. And then I'm going to do the operation plus 8. So plus is add, so I'll just add 8 onto the end. When translating expressions, it's important to know that each algebraic expression has many verbal expressions. So algebraic just meaning when I have numbers and letters in a statement, and verbal is when I write it out with words. So there's many different ways you could write 4n minus 1. Me saying 4n minus 1 is an example, but here we have a number times 4 less 1. So I know I have a variable times 4, which is right here, less means to subtract 1. I could also have written this as 1 less than 4 by a number. So 1 less than, so I know the 1 is going to go at the end because it's less than, and then 4 by a number. Well, the word by means to multiply, so I have 4 and a variable, so same thing. 
Our last verbal expression example for this one is the product of four and a number minus one. Now, this does not represent all of the verbal expressions that you could have for this particular algebraic expression. It just shows you that there's several different ones you can use and they all mean the same thing. For this, we have six plus nine by a number. So I have six and I added nine times n. Then I had the sum of six and nine times a number and six increased by the product of nine and a number. All mean the same thing, six, and then I have addition, nine, and multiplication of the variable with that nine. Next, we're gonna look at translating equations. We're gonna to add to that chart that we had at the beginning where we looked at what word might mean add, subtract, multiply, divide, and we're gonna look at the two most common words for equal. So we have, of course, the word equals, and then we have total and is. Usually equation, they will use the word is, but sometimes they use total or equals. So the only difference between equations and expressions, writing them from, translating them from verbal to um, algebraic is just the equal sign. Everything else is exactly the same. So if I had seven is the sum of two and a number, that means that I have seven is is going to be equals the sum of two and a number. So I'm going to be adding two plus a variable. So here I have seven equals two plus a variable n. This one, one of the verbal phrases that I could use or verbal expressions that I could use to represent this would be 10 from a number tripled totals nine. Remember from and then are going to switch the order or reverse the order. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for tuning in. Feel free to click to subscribe for this and other videos. Until next time.